Hello, welcome back to Air Job Boss TV. I am the Air Job Boss, and today we're going over interview general um, information, and this has to do with how to answer a question in a certain format. Now, obviously, if you're a pilot, you're really not exposed to doing a lot of interviews, so it's important to get preparation if you can afford to do so, and I highly recommend it. When you consider the amount of money you're gonna make over your career as an airline pilot, uh, paying a little bit of money for preparation is really nothing and i can't tell you how many times i talk to professional interviewers that say we can tell when somebody is not prepared but uh anyway today we're going to go over basically what they call the star method or the spar method of answering questions so as you're getting asked questions especially the tell me about a time when you did something question you're going to want to place it in a format that is easily understood by the interviewer and honestly there is many training sessions where interviewers go to training sessions and they are to listen for this formula all right now before i start with this formula the star spar formula i want you to know that you're targeting uh key core values of the airline or competencies so the words of those competencies or core values will be sprinkled ever so lightly as seasoning through this answer in the SPAR, STAR. So here we go, S, the situation. So you just wanna state the situation, right? T is the task or P is the problem. So you really wanna tell them what you perceive as the problem and, and that you're gonna now apply a remedy to, which is your action, A, S-T-A is your action. What action did you do to solve the problem in the situation or complete the task in the situation? And then the R is the result. What happened in the result and what did you learn from it? It's really important that it's the learn from it that is the res in the result. And a, a lot of people put an E at the end, like evaluation or something, but the result is what you learn because aviation and being a leader is a learning process that should never end and you should always be relearning the things that you've forgotten or learning new things that you need to know. So, for example, if they ask you something like, tell me about a time you disagreed with a policy of your airline. So, this is, so you're going to bring, okay, situation. Okay, so the situation, i got to tell them the situation. I was at Chicago airport and I was the captain of a plane where the lavatory was inoperative. The company had MEL'd the lav and wanted me to go from Chicago to uh, New York City. It was 7 a.m. in the morning. Okay, that's the situation. Here's the problem. The problem with the company's intention was that it was early in the morning. We were a full flight, meaning we had every seat occupied. Also, there were thunderstorms over the departure airport, and I was afraid that we would get away from the gate and then be ground hold for takeoff. Now, sometimes out of Chicago, this can exceed an hour, two hours of ground hold with passengers on board after their morning coffee with no lav. So that's the problem. My action, what I did is I called maintenance first and foremost and asked them, is there any way they can come out and repair the lab? The answer was no. They knew what was wrong with it and they didn't have the part. I called dispatch and I asked dispatch, is there any way we can get a new aircraft? Because, and I, I explained our situation and my, my thoughts about it. They did not have an extra airplane. They wanted me to go. I talked to the flight attendants and asked them what their opinion of this service, customer service, this flight, and so forth was going to be. And they said they had experienced this before, and it did not work out well. They had several customer complaints. It was incredibly uncomfortable to be present in the back during something like this to happen. And they, they asked me if I would refuse the aircraft based on that. So I actually did. I actually had to write in the logbook, refuse aircraft due to lav and op. That's the action. Now here's the result and what you learn from it. 
As a result, the flight attendants were relieved. The gate agents understood. The passengers were inconvenienced for about two to three hours because we had to wait for an inbound plane, which was the next frequency of flight along that road of flight. So they did in fact get there that day. And finally, the chief pilot called me. And luckily the chief pilot also agreed with my call and said, you know, we, we don't have that many planes that don't go out. Our dispatch reliability is about 95% out of this base. But in this case, I stand by you 100%. What I learned about that was that there is going to be times as a captain that I'm going to have to make very unpopular decisions. And I have to make sure that I have collected as much information and use my best judgment as possible to make a proper decision, even when it's going to be unpopular. In this case, it worked out because the person I most respect, my supervisor, the chief pilot, thought it was a good call. But if he did not think it was a good call, I would have been very open to a, a prolonged discussion and figuring out how I could better perform in the future and what I could have done better to make a proper decision or a decision that he felt was also appropriate. Okay, so that's kind of the STAR, S-T-A-R or S-P-A-R method, and you're just gonna flow along. So what you're gonna do is when you get an interview with your pre the person preparing you, you're gonna write down on a single piece of paper each question on different paper, and then you're gonna put S-P-A-R down, and you're gonna write out brief summary to prepare yourself, and do it as to as many questions that you think you're gonna get as possible. And this will get your mind in a flow to answer in this way, because you're gonna get a question that you're not uh, expecting, and, but you'll remember how to formulate this, and you'll be used to formulating through this writing of the down process. Now this, will be advised to you and should be advised to you by a professional preparer. Now, if you want to know more about how Air Job Boss can prepare you for your next interview, you can click the link below at airjobboss.com. If you have any questions associated with Air Job Boss service and preparation service, you can email me at info at airjobboss.com, and you can also find that in the link below. So that's the SPAR method or STAR method in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching us today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video.